Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Martha and today I'm here with Miss Ellie McManus. Yay! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be carving pumpkins. If you saw my last video, it was also with Elle, we filmed that earlier today. It's now 9 o'clock, which isn't that late. We're now going to drink our drinks and we're going it to... It was a slush puppy, but the ice is kind yeah, of melted, melted and it's not really slushy anymore. It's just a little juice. There's no alcohol in it whatsoever. You right, right, come on. Blame it. Oh, I'm seeing a song. Yeah, but... Oh, I'm going to clarify my outfit. Um, I am a raver because honestly, what else are you going to do when you don't have an outfit choice? And Elle brought a neon dress. Um, so this is not my dress. It's cute though. And then I saw these in Asda and I was like, let's do it. Babe. I'm a devil. I don't really know what I'm going to do on my pumpkin. You think, I, I think I might do a devil. I just so I've got an idea. Oh, I need to or I might do idea. like, oh, I might actually do boo on it. Don't cut it out straight, cut it out diagonally. How big do I need to cut it? Put it in deeper. Put it in until you feel it's like fully in. 3.14 or 5.926. I need no 3.14. This four, is why we weren't friends before. <laughs> five, she four. spends time learning Nine what digits. pie is, I spend time moving to boy. <laughs> I'm never doing pumpkins with my children, mate. Their dad can do it with them. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this! It's really not that hard to cut off. Use, it, use a serrated edge knife. You're talking this. shit to me. Serrated edge. Ah. Do you think this is what boys like feel like when they're <laughs> Me worrying that I've ruined your dress and you saying that. So it's for size 8. You fit to size 8, just so you know. Because don't do I was just being nice to you. Hands all juicy. Well, that's in the video. <laughs> My hands all juicy. Well, that's in the video. <laughs> when you use flash, I think it looks so much like that. Looks really good. That looks shit. That looks really good. That looks shit. That um, looks flash. actually alright. I think. No, I think flash ruins it. Wait, go back. That's the non-flash. That's flash. Wait, go back. Go back. Go by. I think that one looks good. Mm, I think the other one looks better. <laughs> That's what it's like today, man. <laughs> Dr. Doofenshmirtz is diabolical. Okay. I'm just like me using Phineas and Ferb references. Oh, is that really it? Yeah. Oh. Like Dr. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Oh, he's a Dr. Doolittle. No, it's a Dr. That's how much I listen to it. <laughs> okay, right. Let's get back to the video. I want more food. Which one's yours? This one's yours. Ah! Oh my god, she's such a... <laughs> Have you seen this picture? You need to see this picture. Look. Martha. Editing oh Martha. Enjoy editing me. Oh my eyeshadow. I don't need to edit you. You're beautiful. I edit the video though. Yeah, that. Look at this picture of Daniel CV. Um, so I'm currently editing and I would just like to clarify that where I'm at in the video right now has taken an hour's worth of footage of us doing absolutely nothing to get to this point. All we had done was taken the top off the pumpkins and carved them out and it had been an hour because we stopped to eat toast. We had some crisps. We were just messing about. She taught me to take the dance. Like it was there were like three hours worth of footage and this video is just absolute chaos. Help. Okay, so we just ate some toast because we were hungry and we hadn't <laughs> eaten yet. But um, we're about to carve pumpkins. I've decided on a design. Yeah, but do I do the really, really difficult one? Or do I do an easy one? Okay, right, I'm doing the difficult one, but you're not allowed to look. Don't worry, I won't. Okay, I'm going to get started while Elle still debates what she's going to do.
man. I thought you used this track as a pile of crap. It actually lives rent free in your head, though. It was the accent. <laughs> it's not a dream. So, guys, basically, apparently, I say no way a lot. I've got a drink because I was explaining it to you. And Martha does accents a lot. Mm. So, we said what each other do a lot, but every time we do it, we have to drink, and it's an absolute nightmare. It's like every single time I say something, I almost go to say it in an Australian accent. Or even accents, like Yorkshire. No, that's not even. That's. I say Yorkshire, and El and Liv say Yorkshire. But I just say Yorkshire. I don't know if that sounded really posh. I say yeah, Yorkshire. You so basically, this part and section, it's like spin the bottle, but where it's only two of us, we just alternate and take it into turns. So basically, if you drink, it it's means- Spin the bottle, truth or dare, because spin the bottle is when you kiss each other. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not gonna kiss each other. <laughs> uh, it's spin you the bottle, kissed me before. Truth. <laughs> spin the bottle, truth or dare. So basically, I'll ask Martha a question. Like, if I said, have you ever drink alcohol? She can answer on camera, and if you hear the question and the answer, it's because we've answered. But if you just see someone drink, it's because we didn't want to answer the question on so camera. So dr if you drink, it means I'm allowed to cut that question out of the video. Yeah, and no one else will know. Like it just says, yeah. Nasty. Okay, so it's all that like paranoia. Ask, ask your first question then. Um, my first question is, and this is where I drink. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I drinking? I'll just drink it for the first day. Okay, my question. Um, how? I don't know because I never measured it, but. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know, can you pass me like a measuring tape so I can actually like. Try? <laughs> it's so funny because I already know the answer to this question. Okay, I'm gonna say a good question. What age do you think it's acceptable to get pregnant at? Like, what age would you be happy getting pregnant at? I'd literally be happy getting pregnant now. No way. If I was in love with someone and wanted to spend the rest of my life with them, I'd literally get pregnant now because I want kids so bad. I don't I don't want a baby with someone that I don't feel like would be a good dad to my kid. Even if I knew that we weren't going to be together forever, because you're never really sure of that sort of thing, yeah. I want them to at least be a good dad to my kid and respectful to me if we're not together in the future. Yeah. So if, I, if it was with someone who I trusted and I didn't want to like continue with acting and I didn't really know what I wanted to do just yet but I knew I wanted a family because my main ambition is life is to have a family over acting over everything oh, right. yeah I just I really want a family for me because I want to do acting acceptably probably like 20 I'm like cut this but yeah I think I think it's acceptable to get pregnant at basically any age above 16 because that's the law as long as you are Mentally and financially prepared for the child. <laughs> That's why I asked it so you could drink. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever be friends with benefits with someone? No. Not just straight up, no. I've got too much respect for myself. So. Mm. Music or acting? That's quite a simple one. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Um, you know, I, I can't decide for like life because I love both. Although I suppose I got a music tattoo. Okay, my question. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Okay, but I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Okay, you've got to ask me a question. <sighs> and you have to, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mind. I'm gonna ask you a question. Would you rather, for Halloween, pick a funny Halloween costume, like a weed packet, or do a sexy outfit where you wear like booty shorts and it's like too sexy? So you either got the funny outfit or the sexy outfit. What would you rather do? Oh, I think it depends on the occasion. Like, say if I was We're going to a house party. Oh, sexy, definitely. Well, if you're going to a house party, definitely something. We're going to a club. A bit risky. The same thing. We're going to the festival. Funny. Would you? Yeah. I just think funny ones are great. Well done, you've answered the question. <laughs> I'll tell you, but. <laughs> Cheers! We have to let them dry and then we can put candles in them. You've got to ask me a question. Um, why did you um, quit YouTube? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> I don't think YouTube is the end. I feel like going back to college, having a busy schedule was one thing, 
and trying to keep up with it. Yeah, like I was gonna make so many videos like going back to college, but I feel like I'm such a person that people find easy to make fun of. Look, I say a lot of stupid shit and people make fun of it and I, I was just debating and my mum didn't quite understand YouTube and she was like, why would you put yourself on YouTube for you just to like get made fun of sort of? And I feel like putting myself on, cause like everyone has like Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, well most people have TikTok, not everyone uses it, but like for me then to put myself on another social media platform, like I've never deleted, like I've only deleted one of my videos, but that's cause something happened like on the video, which like, Someone got upset about drama. something that was said in the video. Basically. Yeah, someone got upset. Um, still to this day, I don't necessarily think that I was out of order, but I feel like what what I said was a bit peak, but then a lot of people who they were surrounded with was telling me it was peak, and then all I had for me was like me and you telling me like yeah, it's what was right. I've, I've heard your side of the story, and I, I trust you. And they haven't heard both sides of the story, and I think that's yeah. why everyone thought it was peak, because they didn't understand both sides of the story and how it... I mean, I know it may sound me, but how that whole situation mentally drained you and made you feel so crap. Yeah. I mean, everything's fine now, like everything's like completely chill with that person, but it's like a lot happened. I still haven't dated someone that since yeah. then. Yeah. Like, and it just, a lot. a lot, a lot happened that went into kind of messing up your mental health in that moment in time. Yeah, like I definitely felt like YouTube was right for me, like to speak out and talk about it. Like YouTube was like a platform for me. Like I just feel comfortable putting the camera up, like sitting there chilling, like pull out. But also I feel like a lot of people were saying like your editing was shit. And I was thinking, do you know what, do, what, do I just give it a break? Like try and focus on editing? Like what, what do I do to like try and better it and enjoy that like, content? But I definitely think like doing YouTube, like it's definitely like a brain thing. Like I, think I do one think thing it's so great. With it, because I'm still doing mine, just persist, persist, persist. That's yeah. what I But I know like in my industry like you're gonna get a lot of no's because we're both actors. Mm. You've got to persist. So I do think YouTube, but then at the same time I'm like when my director keeps saying like it's an insult for you to YouTube, like YouTube shouldn't make you an actor, I'm like, what road do I wanna go down? Do I wanna be a YouTuber? Do I wanna be an actor? Like it's just all difficult, like the whole surrounding yeah. like trying to decide whether YouTube is right for me or That's not. That's the thing, I do YouTube because I enjoy making YouTube videos. I don't yeah. think of it as a thing to do with acting, I think of it as a hobby. It's like music to me, like I think of it as a hobby, I enjoy it because it's my but, hobby. But also the original reason why I stopped was because I literally had a roadblock, like I couldn't think of any yeah, ideas. Yeah, no, I literally was me. I literally cried because I was like, I can't think of any ideas. I was like, what do I do? Like it is hard work thinking of videos every week and then you've got some people hating your work, then you've got other people going, I wanna see two videos a week and it's like, yeah. it, I literally like freaked out at the stage. So I feel like I could go back to YouTube, like especially like soon, I could go back. But also at the moment it's like a playing game, like I'm not sure. Yeah. I think you should. I like your videos. They make me happy. Oh. <laughs> With YouTube it's hard because you just do have to persist, persist, persist. And that's why I'm still doing mine despite not getting the subscribers I want or not getting the likes or views that I want. Why don't we video Bandit Live? It did. I got like 1.5k on that. I think. That was so good. I was so proud of that one. But that was because I put Why Don't We the title. It wasn't because of my own work. Which does kind of frustrate me, but I mean, I'm glad I got the views, but I I wish that it would have been because of my own merit, not because I added. Yeah, see, so like my my biggest video was my 18th birthday in quarantine. Yeah, like not many people would search that. It was because like it was yeah. an interesting vlog and it just got passed. But well, my camera's gonna run out of charge, so have I'm you seen videos of to... the pumpkins? No, I'm gonna put it on charge. We're gonna let these dry, um, and then I'll come back to you once these are dry and my camera's charged, and we'll put candles in them, and they're gonna look cute. Bye, camera. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. What are you doing? You stood on my cat. Thank <laughs> you, YouTube. Everyone, say hi. Say hi in the chats. Say hi in the chats. <laughs> no one says hi. Oh, wait, no, no, hi. Yay! Say hi. Yay. Hey, babes. Okay, so basically, it's been a couple hours. We've been on live on Ubo for like literally how many hours? Three, so two, many. too many hours. So the pumpkins have it's most. Very late, it's like four. It's like half three, I think. It fully is almost four. 
I know, that's what I'm saying. When you I didn't even realise. So, um, yeah, we've been on live for ages. So, we're going to light the candles and put them in the pumpkins and see how everything looks. Do the candles. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to do the candles now and then I'll just show you what it looks like in a second. So, just let them, but I'm going to turn the lights off quickly so we can look at how they look. It, well, neither of us showed you our ideas, but this is what it ends up looking like. So, this is Elle's. Do you want to talk us treat, through it? Smell my feet. Basically, I saw it on Pinterest, but it had ghosts on, and the all kind of went wrong like so many times, didn't it? Yeah. You can't really see the all on the camera, but in real life, you can see the all. Yeah, I, I sort of struggled with the all. Yeah, so I did really struggle to do it, but I think it kind of looks sick now. I was going to add some devil horns, but then I just didn't know how to do it, so yeah, this is what we're left with. Okay, so this one's my one. Right, so if you know the painting by Vincent van Gogh, it's Starry Starry Night. That's what it's supposed to be, but um, it's a bit of a mess because no I just... No one looks better on camera. Yeah, it looks better on camera than it does in real life. Don't say that though. <laughs> so there's the moon, but the moon got a bit messed up. And then down here you've got obviously like the little thing and then the buildings. The buildings actually look really good on camera. So yeah, so I really like mine. I messed up this bit. There's not supposed to be a hole there, but you don't need to know that. Um, so I actually really like mine now. I didn't before, but I think it looks cute because it's just, yeah. I wanted to do the Sorry Sorry Night Vincent Van Gogh thing. So yeah, that's what that is. I think they look cute. What do you think? It's decent, right? It's decent, right? Yeah. Yee, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Drop a like if you like the video, subscribe if you like my content, and leave a comment down below if any other video ideas you have. And follow my Instagram! Or you do a future reference. Follow both our Instagrams, they'll be down in the description. Like always. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys.